So how to make a P PR or a passive radiator. You know, subwoofers have magnets and a passive radiator is like a subwoofer, but without a magnet or a, a voice coil. Now, if you want to go cheap, I found this one in the trash, kind of repaired it. Find one for cheap, pick one off the trash, and you, we're going to cut out, we're going to remove this magnet. Now, after we're done with that, you got the choice to remove the voice coil and this thing, so it won't make much noise. Anyways, so, you see this glue over here? That glue mark. We're going to use a knife or something to wedge that out. Like I did with, um, this is not really connected to this 12 inch. Uh, this is another magnet from this passive, well, subwoofer. Kind of rip it off, just like that. Most subwoofers are literally just riveted in there. And this is the voice coil. Yeah. Anyways, that's the magnet. Now, I'm going to wedge this out. From here, I would use a a butcher knife, a cleaver, or a meat cleaver. Meat cleaver. I don't care what you call it. But hey, I'm the cheap one. Now, in order to do this, I need two hands. So I'll just do show you. Just like put the knife there. You know, hit it with a hammer at the tip here, if you want. And that's it. Hold on. I will cut the video a little short because, like, you know, I gotta do it with two hands. So I have loosened the glue out. This thing, you can see the space inside. You can see voice call. Now, people ask me, why use a meat cleaver, a butcher knife, or a machete, whatever you call it? I don't care. Because I don't want to use expensive tools like a fucking angler grinder. I don't want to destroy the sub, so I wouldn't use a hammer. And, well, there are some videos saying you need to, to buy one instead. See? Anyways, I already, you know, I hammered it down here. Now, all you got to do, hold on, let me just set it up. Here. Now, you see what I did here? You know, basically, pop it out like a can. Like... You know, like, like this, you know, like that. It looks kind of scary if you have it down, you know, yeah, just pop it out like you're opening a can. Scary, but hey, you're getting a free passive radiator. There we go. Can I have a magnet out? There we go. Now here's your little voice coil. You can remove it if you want, but I'd use it. I'd keep it in there, make it look like it, it's weight. And there's your magnet. From a 6.5, 8 ohm. I don't know how much power, whatever. Now there you go. Now that you got your known passive radiator, I'm gonna use this for a for two four inches or just one. But anyways, now you know how to make a passive radiator the cheapest Asian way. Why I say Asian? Because Asians save a lot of money if they want to. Got an Asian knife from a B Trust in Canada. <sighs> there you go. At least you do it the clean way and cheapest way possible. I haven't seen a video like this using a freaking lever or something to actually dig into the magnet. And there you go. Just cut this if you want. Or, and take out the voice coil if you want. It's your choice. Your, it's your passive radiator. And you could give this magnet to a scrap, scrap or whatever. You earn some cash like that. Anyways, pieces.